I think Hot Wheels influenced how I build these cars by giving me the inspiration to look a little bit deeper and kind of push the edges. Without having that influence as a child, I don't know that I ever would have gotten there today. Give it up for everybody that brought a ride out here today. My personal three would be 84 Olds, the Streetworks Hot Rod, and the 944 race car. All have great stories. What would you guys have? We like the Voodoo Larrys. I also like the Voodoo Sahara. That was great story, great execution. I like the, the custom Belvedere that's right next to it. Just mm -hmm. a, like beautifully realized, just absolute home run. All the car owners out here, you guys did a great job. So let's give them a round of applause for you. As judges, it was exceptionally hard to go through these because every car out here is stellar in some way, shape, or form. But at the end of the day for the Chicago stop, we have come down to Brian Bergeron and what started as a 1987 Porsche 944. The feeling of appreciation, the fact that I was recognized for all of the work that went into this, uh, I think that's the best feeling in the world. My name is Brian Bergeron. Today we are in the northwest side, Chicago. So this is Vider Stansfig number one. I number all of the models and this being the first, it's number one. The build sheet, let's say, on this car, it started as a 1987 Porsche 944 chassis. I was previously a carpenter and general contractor, and this was my hobby, playing with these 944s and autocrossing. I like to be challenged, and I kind of plateaued in the carpentry thing and wanted to challenge myself. So I finished up my list of customers and started this business, and it's been my full-time job. I have a private uh, garage. I do not have walk-in customers. I have contract customers that I vet and we go through quite an extensive process before I decide to build a car for them. In my garage, it is not only a business, it's my hobby, uh, my passion. It's never work. I'm the one and only employee. I do the paperwork, I build the cars, I paint the cars, I do the R&D, I do the CAD work, the engineering, uh, one man show. In the past few years, I've built three other fighter stance bigs. This has launched a brand of Wide Body Outlaw and so I've done three other models, all for the street, and this is the only race version, and it's the first. I did an LS swap, LS6, full custom wide body, designed by myself. The nose, the fenders, the rear bumper, the only part of the body that I didn't touch were the pillars. It still runs the Porsche Transaxle, a lot of the Porsche Turbo S, which is the strongest model. Full dual exhaust, side exit, which is kind of special on a 944 the wheels as well. I designed the wheels and we cut those locally. The car was built to race. It was never built to be a show car. It just so happens that the quality of my work, people think enough of it to award this car, which I'm completely honored. What does garage spirit mean to me? It's the guy that wants to try everything on his own, wants to learn how to do it, has the ambition and the fortitude to stick with it, that would rather try it himself before paying someone to do it. And when I first think of Hot Wheels, it seems to exemplify the builder spirit. The guys that are in their garage, putting these wild machines together that nobody's seen before, and, and we bring them out to share with everyone. Well, I came to today's event to show everybody what you can accomplish if you really set your mind to it. Did I think the car had a chance of being chosen? Based on the criteria, I certainly thought I had a chance. The first feeling after I heard my name called at the event, just completely humbled. To be recognized for the work that I've done here is just tremendous. I can't imagine that something that, that came from my hands and these 10 fingers could potentially be in the hands and 10 fingers of every person on our planet. It's unbelievable.